All right, so now that we've taken a look at the characters on Mixamo, I want to go and start browsing environment art. And, you know, it might be that the environments that you see kind of like changes your mind about what characters you want to use. That's fine. Um, so there's a lot of great resources to find assets uh, that are for surprisingly free. Uh, but I'm going to recommend that we use the Unity Asset Store to start with, mainly because these assets we know more or less are going to work with Unity, which is, you know, the tool we're using. So while there's tons of other free asset sources out there, I think, again, just in the interest of making life easiest for this first practice, let's go ahead and use the Unity Asset Store, at least as our first option. So I like to browse the web web browser version of this. There's also like a version uh, that's kind of built into Unity, but it, this is kind of clunky and doesn't work as well. So I'm just going to find what I'm looking for in the browser version. You need to make sure that you have a Unity account um, and sign into it so that this stuff will actually work. Uh, I guess I should probably do that. And yeah, sure. Let's do it, actually. Um, oh, magic. <laughs> All right. Anyway, the w I guess since we're looking for environments and we know this is going to be a 3D game, I think the right way to go about this would be to choose 3D from this assets menu. And there's tons of stuff on the Unity Asset Store that like they could involve, you know, entire games that you kind of customize and so on and so forth but we want to find environments so once i got 3d i'm going to then check environments and now i'm starting to see stuff that costs money right so if i don't necessarily want to spend money which i don't think is a good idea like let's try to do this for free at least again for this first uh exercise I'm going to go down here and choose free assets. And by default, I believe it's sorted by popularity, whatever that means. Um, you could try changing a sorting um, filter if you want, but I'm just going to kind of start scrolling through and seeing what I see. Again, thinking like, hmm, I'm trying to make this um, zombie game with kind of realistic looking people. Um, so that's going to inform like what I'm what I'm interested in here. This one I just noticed off the top looks like it could be a pretty good zombie situation here. Wow, yeah. This is definitely good. Um so I'm going to go ahead and hit add to my assets. It's free. It doesn't really matter, right? So just go to town. Um you know, it is good to check out these license agreements because especially with some of the paid assets, you might be surprised about um, what the rules are. For instance, if you're on a team, they want you to buy, sometimes they want you to buy a copy for every person on the team and things like that. Uh, so you definitely want to check that out and make sure that you're playing by the rules. Uh, all right, so I'm going to click a few of them, right? Because, you know, maybe the, this isn't the first one I want to use. Um, and I might not know for sure until I see what else is out there. So when I was looking through this earlier today, uh, I noticed this one. I could see this being kind of good for a zombie situation. Um, also, there was another one I saw. Uh, yeah, I think this was it. Is this it? Let's see what this looks like. Um, so they got this nice video going on here. But I could see this being useful too. So I'm going to add this one. All right. So I did this really fast because my theme is easy. You're probably going to spend a lot of time browsing things. That's fine. I, you know, if you are really looking for something specific, you can start searching. Uh, but I, I guess I'd be careful about that because, again, you're just going to find, you're either not going to find what you want or it's not going to be free. And it's, I, I really encourage you to let what you do find guide your creative vision. Um, 
one day when you can work in a studio environment where there's actual artists that are on salary, you can get what you want. But for now, we're going to work with what we have. And it's important to kind of be able to build stuff out of pieces that were given because actually in, in you know when you first start off in the game industry as like say a level designer you might have to operate within some existing themes and set pieces that um, are you know known to be part of the project that's pretty standard and typical it's not every day you get to actually just like totally being creative control over everything that you're doing so uh, it is a good exercise all right so i'm going to stop this video here and um i guess in in the next video i'm going to like look at importing some of this into unity and seeing how to put it all together